Neon gonna have to find maybe a slightly different approach. But even like, you know, the PAs and stuff of the world don't really care. Lone Druid doesn't care. TMZ Predators yeah. turn. Okay. Rubik coming in. Alright, they, they see the team fight and they want a little piece of that for themselves. Perfectly reasonable in my mind. It oh my great God. spells to steal. <laughs> steal the bonds and then get a double bonds with the, uh, the soul bind. And yeah. then just and then you just cast one fade bolt <laughs> and just watch it absolutely. Everyone explodes. And, and, yeah, everyone just gets annihilated. Ten seconds uh, remaining. Oh, we'll keep our eyes peeled for it. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be to steal Fatal Bonds, necessarily, but... Yeah. They don't play too much Phantom Lancer. I mean, what even is left? They they always ban the Prophet out first on TNC, so that's not available. Mm. Beastmaster, not in the pool. There's still, like, an, is. There's still an Ursa. I could, I could see Ursa being just fine here. Yeah. Just, like, you pressure the Mars, you've got the Ink Swell from the Grimstroke. Uh... <sighs> Your do we RC. think do we think this has to be a Dragon Knight mid? I don't think it has to be. I think there is the possibility that they run it uh, offline. They don't have the last overall pick, so I think there's a little bit more uh, in the direction of, like, okay, maybe it is going to be a Dragon Knight mid from that. But TNC just going to go for the TA. Uh, man, they're, they're really leaving safe lane to last pick. Uh, you might not be able to see that there's a TA there. She's kind of hidden behind Mars' shield, but take our word for it. This is a lot of physical damage, though, on TNC. Yeah. Alright, Neon just gonna go for the Ember. I was thinking it was Safe gonna be Ember? one of the Spear Brothers. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay against the Tia as well, right? You just need to put one point into that uh, Flame Guard, and the Refraction isn't really too much of a big deal. Yeah, that's true. Um, and it, it's an Ember with uh, an Ink Swell, potentially. Ten mm. seconds so. remaining. I was kind of feeling the, the storm a little bit as well. It's something Hell that they yeah. play a fair amount. You can just jump onto the warlock and burst him down, especially if you've got that ink swell. Uh, okay. So what Dyer is the bad. carry if you're TNC here? They get rid of Monkey King. Hmm. What does mm. that mean? Maybe they just don't want to play against Monkey safe lane for their Mars. Maybe they're thinking DK3, Ember 2, safe lane pick coming up from Neon. They don't want to fight into a Wukong's uh, armor. I mean, the armor's good, obviously, against a lot yeah. of physical. Five yeah, true. For TNC. I'm just, I don't know what the, like, the game-winning carry pick is necessarily are they just gonna drow i could i could actually really see a drow here like the silence is good against the ember the ulti is good against the dragon knight um it kind of works with ta as well it, it does make you like you're you're all physical damage sure but uh it's a lot of physical damage and i feel like the drow kind of gets around the like oh we're gonna itemize a bunch of armor uh a little bit so, hmm. What about? Nah. I was going to say conquer, but then how do you lane things? Hmm. What else? TNC could. Razor? I don't know if that's like a good enough hero in this. They've spot. got. They've got no instant catch. That's my big concern right now. Like, how do they hmm. deal with this Ember Spirit? I don't know if you want to fix that from your safe lane necessarily, mm, but yeah. like I, I don't know if you're going to pick a void or something here. Um, I mean, they they banned it out last time on uh, Neon. It was mm. their fifth ban. Yeah, what are what are they worried about? What is the Gabby hero that they don't want to play against? All right, well, I thought it might be a Ursa for Neon, but they're just going to ban it out. And now we should hopefully get a little bit more information on what these, what these lanes do. What it do? Um, Fifteen seconds left to make their decision. PL. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. PL still looks okay. Uh, yeah. You know, Five maybe a little annoying remaining. against like the Pango, but you just need to wait it out, basically. And yeah. you've got enough maneuverability to be able to do it. Bro. 
Oh. Interesting. Going for the blind, I guess? Yeah, not, not necessarily what I would have expected. I still like the Drow Ranger pick here for TNC, but I'm not sure if that's uh, that's what they're thinking. And I, I still think the Razor looks fine, to be <laughs> honest. The Razor also looking, uh, looking pretty good in this spot. Five uh, seconds remaining. What else? I don't know if you really want a Terra Blade. Uh, like even even Wraith King is not awful. I don't know if it's necessarily the look I want to see from TNC in this spot, but you know you could could nah. also do it. I think they've got low enough cooldowns. You know, Wraith King is one of those ones where it needs to be put, picked in a specific situation. Yeah, DP is good. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Pause one DP. Okay. Well, uh, play fast. Let's go. Let's let's see how this works out. It's. I guess they kind of have some defensive stuff with like the warlock counter initiation. Uh, March has the silly hat on, so everybody prepare your. Prepare yourselves. Mm hmm Man, for... that is a tall hat. Yeah. Here we'll we'll actually we'll we'll switch it over so everyone can see it in in all its all its glory i'm liking the dp because you, you obviously you want to build into a yule scepter just for your own survival but you've also got that that flexibility to be able to use it on for example the ember spirit and i feel like tnc are coordinated enough that you can you know have tim's rolling right on top of the ember um, at the exact same time so you hmm. do get that initial setup and then of course it's great against uh the troll warlord just pop the battle trance yule zoom and run away yeah, the the silence this game also looking pretty value against the the neon heroes. The, the Ember and the Troll Warlord both need to get their spells out, but uh, aren't always going to build the earliest ways to deal with it. So you're kind yeah. of affecting their itemization. And I think more than anything, TNC just wanting to get to play their game and play their team fights a little bit more with this draft than they did in the the previous game. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a little less potential this time around for just being 100 to 0 essentially on March before he gets off any abilities which is yeah. I'm sure he's breathing a bit of a sigh of relief about that but uh, I do have some bad news Cam I am unfortunately out of monster so uh, uh, no. I know it's uh, it, it's a bit of a shame but uh, we'll I'm sure we'll have to get you restocked for sure yeah yeah, for for the casts tomorrow, I reckon. What's Rubik doing headbanging right there in the yeah? Come on, man. Game it's, screen. It's, uh, what's this about? I thought it looked like we had a plan as a team. Everyone's gonna hit that hit the die. See you later, nerds. But, See you later. See you yeah. later, nerds. Just play hard, wanting to flex. See you later, nerds. So, starting with some boots first. It is gonna be the offlane dragon knight. Uh, Yapage head mid on this ember spirit. Let's see how he does. Uh, you know, reasonable amount of pressure on him this game just to have a, a decent game run around find the back lines if he can keep like for example if he can kill the pango before he gets off a rolling thunder amazing mm -hmm. but or if he can force the warlock into using some suboptimal spells that's also going to be great and well hopefully this time tim's doesn't give up the first blood that's another thing yeah, yeah that definitely did not help um this time around, it's the other position for going for the the take on the outpost, and he's going to be successful. Wait, what? Raging Potato Dragon Knight. I just noticed that. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Is, is that weird? Uh, a little bit. I, I'm just, I'm still used to seeing him as a position for, you know? Right, right. The battle right. begins. Uh, a little bit of a swapo here. Are they just? Are they trying to go aggro into this this death prophet? Like, look, we have we've got three amazing nukes uh, on three of our level one heroes. Surely we can just we can just go pressure here. Uh, why not? What did, what are they going to do about it? They're going to rotate in their pango. Like, come on. We've got the double range supports. Let's let's try and go aggro at the start here, at least. Just, just try and get an works. easy pick off early on, yeah. Mm. 
Imitator is just going to level 1 Dragon's Blood. Just wants yeah. to be able to survive for long enough. He's got the Ring of Regen. Trying to stay underneath the tower as well for that extra 1 Regen. Fatal Bond's already being skilled up by March, so we get the Light Show already going. Uh, we're just getting shoved. Play Hard gonna go and body block the small camp. They can then shove this forward, maybe go for the side camp, uh, for the big camp pull. Really just maintain control here. If you're going to be sitting three heroes in the bottom lane, you got to make sure that you're getting those pulls, uh, denying as much experience as you can, and also getting a little bit of extra experience for yourselves. Because Tim's is just dragon waves. He's dragged away for himself. He's denying a full creep wave here, away from the dragon knight, and securing himself a level two to then maybe be able to go and head bottom uh, and find some kind of a play down there. Yep. Always just wanting to give that little bit of extra advantage to... Uh your position three. Might even be handing it over to KP. No, oh, he's gonna maybe grab it for himself. No, I'll just pulling it into the, yeah, the next trying, wave here. I think he's just trying to deny another set of range creeps, but didn't yeah. quite get the aggro. He's trying to manipulate it now to get this range creep denied, but misses the CS for it. Uh, play hard, all right, trying to stack and get a little bit of a block going on here. Nice, small camp blocked. Uh, should be able to get one or two waves denied. With that big camp, but March and Gabby do both crack level two. Uh, March's courier goes down to play hard. Just walks up and grabs it, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, play hard. Do you have this pull timing? Looks like he's got it just fine. One uh, L and Scam just gonna hold the wave back, nuke it out a little bit. I mean, oh, there's going to be some okay damage coming out here. I mean, John Ewell, he had the, uh, I think, five mangoes towards the start of that game, so he just wants to constantly be spamming out these strokes of fate. And a bit of a pause, you know. Just see Dota. Mm-hmm. Just see Dota oh, things. Look at how deep in uh, Armel is, though, against Yopaj. Oh, yeah, Yopaj's not looking very healthy here. Uh, does He's... he have a salve on the courier? He does, okay. So. I saw that ending He's just used his sleight of fist though, so has to be a little bit careful. Well, there's no creeps or anything to get sidebladed off, right? So I think he just yeah. just runs for it and he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any CS that he needs to contest or anything. Yeah, that's fine. They're just backing it out. Uh, oh, Tim's is just running at Raging Potato at top, just giving him the slaps. Uh, He's praying for the lucky shot. There's, there's no help that's going to be coming anytime soon. Yeah, I'm not really able to pull the lane back that far. That is kind of the downside of this being the, the dire off lane. Uh, the Radiant Creep still kind of just get involved with this pull, sort of no matter oh, what. Oh, top side. Oh. Yeah, they're getting a couple of procs, and Tim's with one more swing of the rapier is actually going to bring down that kill. Three minute rapier, Pog. Yep, yep. Where's the... We need the Divine Rapier cosmetic for Pango, actually. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Who has it? Is it Ember? Uh, yeah, he's got the the double. Yopage. All right, actually gets the chains, uh, but in some trouble, and the fairy fire comes out, and he's just dead. Goes right. for the. Oh, uh, our man! <laughs> oh, no, he won't. Oh, he could have salved if he wanted to stay there, but maybe just wanting the. Uh... Oh, and battle at the bottom is going to be one for one so far, but looks like March also going to be brought down. Neon running forward, and one more touch will do it. So we got four different heroes, but five different heroes dead across the map. Radiant's top uh, sure. Is under yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's that kind of day. Well, Gabby's going to be a, a little more fit to take these fights now. He's gone the infused raindrops, he's finished up magic wand, so he's like, well, you can keep laning three people into me and I'm just gonna be able to sustain myself that little bit better but tipping up towards the top side was play hard. You're probably gonna run out here I think he might just be dead another proc from Tim's okay his armor did not stand a chance and uh, Armel this time around has a salve ready to go so good rotation from Tim's and I think his reign of terror is gonna continue as he makes his way down towards the bottom lane and maybe looking to snipe out one of these bounties over here yeah. Uh, Rubik making a similar play at top, but is being scouted out, and uh, Gabby forcing them back. Tim's gonna grab the other one. Is that gonna four. be four bounties for TNC? Looks like it might yeah. be. Yeah. 
Nicely done. I mean, that's the advantage of getting a kill. I mean, getting a kill on mid lane is always great, but if you can get it on it so that he respawns literally on the five minute mark, it is uh, that much more advantageous. And now as well, we've got a full level advantage on our Mel versus uh, this Ember Spirit, and he's just taken to the jungle. He's like, all right, I need my level six. I need some sort of escape potential. Yeah, I can't, can't just chill mid for now. Uh, our Mel does already have a sentry down. Play hard. Should be relatively safe with the telekinesis. They need to get a sentry in here to start dealing with the traps. Uh, and the one downside of this trial lane is that Gabby is not really getting a ton of experience down here. Uh, but like, Crack's level 4, so doing alright. Skem is just working towards some face boots. And Grimstroke rotates mid. They get the lift back onto the TA. Looking for a little bit of follow up. They do have the Ink Swell available. Armel, they have to catch him with that stun. They've got the chains. Tim's looking for the turnaround. Doesn't get a single proc. So, no lucky shot to help out, and now Pangu in some danger. They do get the Phantom, Yopai's jumping forward aggressively. That's a double kill for him, and a very nice rotation from the Neon support. He's <laughs> got that face. cheeky little <laughs> battle bots damage. <laughs> Zap. Give him a poke. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a little... not surprised, but... Uh, it's just a little odd, you know, where they've placed a couple of these Observer Wards up on the top side for the die. You know, two very close uh, Observer Wards next to each other just to save Raging Potato, who you would have to say is, like, not the highest priority for the team. And uh, because yeah. of that, maybe a couple of times this Ember Spirit died to rotations when, if the vision was a little different, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I guess this is mostly about just knowing where the Pango is. But it's only really going to help you if he's actively just leaving or, no, or entering top lane. Mm. I do have another ward here now at mid, but this is more kind of for rune control, I think, than anything else. As, uh, I'm just going to keep on farming up. Not too much of a lead, but it is in TNC's favor currently. Uh, Yopai should probably be looking to get active oh. in a little bit. Now that is something that we have not noticed until now. Armel is very happy because he has a huge ancient stack up at seven minutes. Oh yeah. Hmm. Is, is that just is that just March is doing? I guess he's just been yeah. sneaking off from the lane now and then, and uh, he's getting all of the neutral items here. All right, needs to take a second to go and collect those. Looks like uh, not, not even courier going in. Just gonna have to wait. Iron talon, ironwood tree, and. Uh, Fade a brooch all on the ground, I believe. There's March. Well, he dies. He's sitting there happy, though. He's getting all of his uh, his, his ancient stack gold going on. And, uh, Man, can you ever imagine a scenario like, it's nighttime now, right? What if one of the Neon supports had rotated through while he was moving back, obviously not to take all of this ancient damage, and just snatches just up every up single one three. of them? Yeah. <laughs> it, would, it would definitely be a highlight real play, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, Armel missing some efficiency, could have picked up the Iron Talent and then used it on the Ancients as he was farming there, but it's alright. We'll, we'll forgive him this time. We'll, we'll, we'll forgive it, yeah. But next time, watch right. out. We got some Raging Potato level 7. John John will taking a few hits from the tower, but it does reveal some uh, deep vision that they have. So, not the worst. This patch of trees is just so uh, so unhelpful for this mid-tier one tower. You're trying to ward around it and just people figuring out that, that there's vision. We do have a TP coming in from the Mars. KP, Arena, looking for the Raging Potato. He's pretty tanky, but four heroes focusing him. Not going to be tanky enough. Yopash could not get in there to help out. And TNT is just committing numbers to defend this tower and then immediately scattering across the map. To go and continue farming. Looks like no interest really in defending bottom. Uh, probably gonna try and look for a trade up top instead as Gabby moves into position. Could be tempted to use the exorcism. We'll, we'll see what happens. He is kind of stuck up here as TP's on the way. They've cut the way a little bit just to make sure that uh, they can take this as quickly as possible. He's still only level 7 though, just hitting onto it here on Gabby. So it's uh, one of those games where even though he's the position 1, Technically, you know, the safe laner, it's this TA. TA is the position one. That's the one that you want to give all of this farm priority to, and that's the win condition for your team. Well, March shows himself for a second. It will be easily brought down at mid. The tier 1 tower will be dead as a follow-up. Scam also getting a tier 1 tower at bottom, so pretty good trade across the map for Neon here. 
Uh, Mars does have another ultimate soon. Play hard, very quickly gonna grab that bounty. Doesn't have the lift available. KP waiting with the spear. Does throw it out now, but here comes the Dragon Tail. Tims is there with the follow up. Yopage does have the two points up in the searing chains. Tims with the one point in the shield crash. Actually, just gonna look for a little bit of a turnaround here. Armel with the courier snipe to start. Raging Potato is the target. They do have the arena in two seconds, and Gabby also looking for a little bit more. They're gonna drop the rock to cancel that TP, though they push Raging Potato pretty far back. Just gonna use the arena to ensure the kill. Yopage still fighting, gets the two-man chains, and Armel's actually underneath the tower. Play hard, he's got the list available, hasn't used it just yet. Yopage, mega kill streak, looking for more. This Ember is doing so much damage with the Flame Guard. They finally deal with it, but Gabby's team's already been cleaned up. Scam now joining the fray. Looking for one more kill. Gets the net proc, and that is such a big turnaround for Neon. How much damage did that Ember just do? Uh, 2.7k, pretty nice. Yeah, an insane amount at the 11 minute mark. Your page is going absolutely bonkers this uh, this game, as well as last, you know. He's uh, showing why he's one of the real rising stars of the scene, and you know, just doing work for Neon. Like, he's going to be able to pick up a couple of these bounty runes as well, so he doesn't even have to TP back to base. Yeah, this is going to be... Um, unfortunately, they didn't already have the urn, otherwise he would have had a ton of really nice charges, but still going to be a very fast vessel. Uh, yeah. After that fight, Korea's still dead, so it's going to be a little while until it comes back out to him. But again, TA trying to take a couple of these ancient stacks might get caught out here. It's daytime now. Yep, jumping in. They're really hunting the Templar Assassin. Mel's helping out a little nice. bit, but here comes the Soulbind. That Rolling Thunder is preventing Raging Potato from getting over here, but still gets the nuke out to finish the kill. And now the tips also coming towards our Mel, who is just getting run at constantly by. Neon, not letting him get that kind of position one farm that you were talking about, and item, t item timing is going to be very delayed for the TA this game. Uh, he's kind of walked up onto the high ground. Alright, can he get the spear stun out? Yopash doesn't have, well, it actually has the flame bird still running. AP does manage to walk away. They are going to end up losing the Grimstroke. Nice spear on the back lines. As play hard, just going to work with the stolen spirit siphon, Scams keeping himself here. very healthy. Gabby, he's popped the exorcism, but if they focus him down, I don't know if he's got the survivability. He does have the stick charges, but Scam just finishes him off. That's another tip from Scam. As Raging Potato with a double. TNC committing to a fight without their TA and just getting cleaned up. Man, the exorcism also got stolen from Play Hard. He was just cosplaying as Death Prophet in that last fight. He had the Spirit Siphon first and now he, then he had the exorcism. Yeah, it's not a massive grief for them, uh, but Yopage went back to base uh, with the Remnant to pick up his own and he didn't have the Ring of Protection component, so he had the entire team fight oh. where he could have got a few extra charges. Tim? Oh, he gives away the Rolling Thunder. He didn't press Shield Crash fast enough. So Playhard is now just in a rolling battle with, uh, with Tim's. Uh, okay. Oh, Amel, not again. Oh, they're just running at him. Yopage and the Grimstroke. The dynamic oh. duo. The refraction comes up for a fraction of a second, but... That was your win condition, and he's died three times in three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, just nothing really being able to protect him. I mean, TNC, they just kind of feel trapped on their side of the map currently. It just seems like Neon at every opportunity is running at them, finding kills. They've got the stolen rolling thunder in 25 seconds. And TNC trying to break out and go and put some pressure top, maybe force a rotation up here with the Mars. But, you know, KP can only be in so many places at once. Blink Dagger not going to be coming out for a while. Still just working on his Vlads currently. Yeah, just wants to be able to survive that a little bit longer in team fights. You'd have to say it's wanting to let the exorcism on Gabby do a little bit of work, but I mean, look at him. Look at his net worth. It's sitting down in sixth position. It's not where you want your safe laner to be. They really need to go and get some use out of this chaotic offering. Right? Yeah. It really should be with the way that these last couple of things have gone. I think you need to, you know, you go and bait the TA, and then the Warlock needs to be sitting right behind him. Right, and then when this jump happens, you drop the chaotic offering. Uh, you hopefully follow it up with the rolling thunder and take a team fight from there. I just I don't like these three points in the shadow wood. Like a, fatal bonds is one of the best abilities in the entire game, right? But I feel like 
the difference in level one and level two upheaval is so huge that at this stage of the game, you want two points in upheaval. Uh, it can just completely change the complexion of a team fight, especially when you've got something like, you know, this uh, this death prophet that gets the movement speed boost from having the exorcism. So if you can have the boost and the enemy team has the opposite, and it's 14 minutes, they're not going to have BKBs and they don't have like a jug or anything like that. You're going to be able to take a lot more control out of these team fights, and it makes things a lot easier for your Pangolier and your Mars. Yeah. Well, I hopefully he gets. Uh, we'll see what he does at level seven. He's just about to crack it now, but. Yeah, what, we will see. What, whatever they're doing, they need to somehow get this this team fight lineup going, and not just get picked off here, there, and everywhere. Um, look, I think they could even, if they really wanted to, like just walk into the Roshan pit and try and force things a little bit that way. Uh, Mars is not that far away from his Vlad, so as soon as he gets that, you know, it's a fairly straightforward Roshan with the Desso and the, and the Vlad. Tim positioned a little bit aggressively, but uh, eventually backs off, realizing that, well, Ranging Potato's probably not down here on his own this aggressively. I'm going to die if I stay too much longer. And he was right. Yep, they're Gabby. looking for it again. Yopaj is in. Gabby does seem like he's going to be able to walk this one off. He does have a one point in the silence, so maybe looking for a turnaround. Uh, but... Oh, Ember's got an illusion rune. Of course. Of course, you know. Dyer's Why not? I think that's the only way that he's... I think that's the only reason that he's playing Radiant's like that, right? He knows. Yeah. Oh. he knows he can get out of the sunset anyway. They're going to up this hill. Oh, Rolling Thunder coming through. Pangolier won't be able to get the ulti off here. Chain stunned. Play hard looking for a little bit more. March and Gabby trying to reset, fighting around their ward. They do have the Chaotic Offering still available. Illusion Rune ready to go. So there's a jump out. <laughs> KP getting baited. I guess not having the communication there with the team, didn't realize that that was up. Play hard, just gonna look for the ink swell stun. Oh, it's so close to connecting. Still gonna throw out the soul bind. They're hiding the exorcism this now. They rock. just jump in, double dragon tail. Good chaotic offering to keep the fight going. Skem running in now with his battle fury looking for the fight. Armel just gonna get chained up. Yopage looking for KP. This time around, they Charles do get it. the triple ink swell stun. Tim's, can he do enough? He's looking for the stun into Yopage. Troll didn't get the ultimate off, he just got focused down. And without that, lacking a little bit of damage to keep this fight going, Yopar's still gonna keep it. Wants to finish off Tim's, if at all possible. Swashbuckle almost finishing him off, and he is actually gonna get ticked down by that Shadow Word. Raging Potato with the double kill, finds out March in the back lines as Playhard also gonna finally finish off Tim's on the other side. Uh, not the Cletus, they did end up losing the Ember and the Troll, but Still a big team fight win for Neon. At the end of the day, you take a full five-man wipe at any step of the way, and that was with Troll doing zero damage, essentially. He in did that team 56 fight. damage. What even happened to him? I, I didn't even really catch it. He, one second he was there, and then did he just get, like, silenced and hit by a meld, and then just yeah. died? That was it. I guess being kited around a little bit, right? Because Gabby didn't even have the Yules yet. Yeah, I, I feel like he also maybe walked into the exorcism a little bit, and then all the ghosts just... Ghosts plus maybe a melt hit. But anyway, no damage from the troll. That's all you need to know. Neon still ahead by 6k. The net worth graph is just a constant downward slope. Uh, we're already at 91% on the win probability with all three cores uh, on the neon side on the top of the net worth. And Yopage is at it again. There is just no punish for this man's Ember Spirit. He walks in, kills off KP, play hard with the, the kill secure, of course. He is a Rubik player after all. And Skem just farming all... The, the Ember is just keeping everybody contained on the TNC side of the map, and Skem has all the farm in the world to go and grab. Armel and Gabby break out a little bit, but they don't want these two heroes farming on top of each other currently, but there's, there's nowhere else to go. I'm liking it, and he's been going to be able to pick out this uh, double ancient stack as well. So Skim, he's uh, he's a happy little Vegemite right now. Oh, double neutrals. Nice. Gonna go for the vampire fangs for now. Uh, Raging potato, just a blink and a blade mail. We do finally have the Yules up for the death prophet, but Gabby's level situation is just dismal. Uh, yeah. Maybe they can give him a tome or something, but. I mean, he's the same level, almost the same level as the Pangolier, currently. Mm -hmm. Just has, has not had much of a game. He desperately needs that level 12 to try and make something happen here. Do they have... Okay, five seconds left until the Golem... 
He hasn't gotten the Radiance second point in upheaval. I really don't attack. like this, but uh, we'll see if it works out for him. They're going to have a ton of extra damage coming through from that Fatal Bonds. Yeah, they just have to hope that the Fatal Bonds going to clean oh, everything Pango. up. Tim's getting chain stunned at mid. I think he's hoping to be able to jump away. Yopaj looking They're for more. It. Yeah, KP in danger. Spirit Vesseled up. There is going to be a Searing Change in <laughs> one second. Finds the one tree to be able to get the spear out. Armel waiting on the high ground, looking for the turnaround under Raging Potato, perhaps to do get the two-man silence. Ember Spirit this time around does not have the illusion room, but he's still surviving. They're gonna leave Raging Potato for dead in the back lines as the Exorcism also getting popped, along with the Chaotic Offering. They use the buyback on the Pangolier, and all they get is one offlane kill. Well, heavy commitment, and I think this is the play they have to make, right? Going straight into the Roche Pit. You've got the Desolator on the TA. You want to take advantage of that with the Ghosts as well, while you still oh, got him. Yopage. Yopage. He's in there. They do get the Silence onto him. The Arena is actually stolen by the Rubik, so they can't leave. Armel's dead. Scam just going to pop the Battle Trance and go for it. March also drained down. Triple kill for Scam. Oh, man. And oh, now we'll looking like the that rush. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for starting that off for us, guys. Appreciate you. Do you ever give this to Skim? I feel like you just want to enable Yopage more. He's on a tear. Yeah, they do. He hasn't died very much so far. Yopage is just going the full anti TA build Spirit Vessel into Halberd. So. Oh, KP, don't reveal yourself. He's just dancing <laughs> down the bot lane. <laughs> Just gotta push some waves. Make some space on the map. Push some waves. I am an offlaner. Radiance top tower is under attack. Bounty. This is what you have to do if you're getting Radiance trapped inside of the base like this, though. Mm -hmm. uh, their situation is not really improving. No, absolutely not. And uh, they even get, again, complete outpost control once more. So. It's just becoming that little bit tougher. How different of a situation is it if, uh, you know, Gabby has that extra point in the exorcism? I think they've got the potential to buy him up at the time. I didn't see if anyone got it just yet, but I think that's the biggest priority for you right now. Yeah, they, they got to get something out of this. Uh, Tim's at bottom. Trying to make the same play that KP was looking for just earlier, but... Yeah, you're a, you're a four. Yeah, mm. You're not quite as tanky. And they're just they're just completely playing the radiant side of the map currently. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Neon have bothered farming Radiant's their own camps for like attack. the last ten minutes. The the dire creeps are having a vacation. They're like, mm -hmm. no one's come to kill us. This whole time we're just getting to chill for this whole Dota game. Radiant's Feels pretty good. Do you think it's one of these situations where, however they do it? the DP and the TA just need to find a way to move over to the dire side of the map and start farming their jungle? Because right now they're just getting nothing, right? Sure, you're at risk of losing towers in the in the process, but they've just stalled completely. Still, 6k net worth on your DP at 21 and a half minutes is not it. Yeah, well, <laughs> so you say that, and then look at where this dire scan is right now. Yeah. They're anticipating that the TA may have, like, solo smoked into their triangle and mm -hmm. is, is taking it right now, but... Uh, and, you know, you know Raging Potato kind of comes, he, do he does the rounds, he checks it out, he makes sure that nobody's taking any farm on his side of the map. TNC are just gonna smoke up as four and make their way out. Gabby's still in level oh, up. Yopash. Yopash jumps into the middle of this, not what he was expecting to find. He has been silenced. They're gonna drop oh, the man, Chaotic everything. Offering on this man! <laughs> Everything and the kitchen sink for the Ember. I mean, they they tip him, but that oh, was I mean a that's long that's, that's his teammate tipping him. That's that's yeah, 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 yeah. being like, all right, I I just saw what happened to you, bud. It's... Right, well, what do you think about it? They had to be somewhere, right? Did they, I guess he thought they were still scared, stuck in the base. I just. He was not expecting there to be four heroes standing on top of his remnant as he jumped in, right? There was there was just no way. Um, I'm gonna blink on the Rubik now. Raging Potato just popped an ulti to farm some camps. He's like, whatever, I want my level 18. I'm waiting for my Ember to respawn. We're, we're gonna have double Halberd, so good luck to the Templar Assassin. Armel not even bothering to go for a blink. Uh, just rushing the BKB as quickly as, as humanly possible. But. All right, we got level two DP ulti. Nice. We got level two chaotic offering, but not for nice. another hundred seconds. Not so nice. Yeah. 
Okay, two points and up, people. I have been satiated. What's it? <laughs> I am satisfied. Well, he didn't, you know, he could have put one more point in the Shadow Bird if he wanted to, but that's He could have. That was the only option that he had at this point. It was, uh, it was a 50 50. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get nice pushed spear. into the base. This might just be the Aegis gone pretty much instantly and the upheaval is making it difficult for heroes to come in here and help the Yopai is able to just jump over the top of everything. Scam getting silenced, rolling thunder nice through from one. Tim's, completely controlling this fight. Scam, can he get the ultimate off? He can, but he immediately gets Yule's March walking forward. Scam still life stealing. Those vampire fangs coming in very helpful and Armel's just getting halberded. He can't do any damage. Play hard with the stolen spirit siphon. Putting in the damage, they will finally end up losing a scam, but ne Neon still just cleaning up the fight, no problem. Man, he's able to last for so damn long on this straw warlord with that vampire fangs, with the lifesteal coming through from the battle trance. Eventually, the fatal bonds doing work, but man, what can you do at that stage? And now the level 18 dragon knights start sieging these towers. Yeah, and the the Rubik even did as much damage as the you know his other two big cores in that fight. So play hard getting a lot done and uh, Raging Potato even getting a little bit ahead of himself into putting some damage onto this this mid tier 3. I don't know if they can go for multiple lanes uh, but <laughs> everyone's like pinging and, and tipping Raging Potato. Uh, I think he's getting a little bit ahead of himself if he thinks they can take take two lanes. Maybe a little bit. Well, they're going to get the bounty runes regardless. So another lead extension incoming for Neon. Oh man, and even this uh, arcane rune on the bottom side of the map. Yopaj makes a beeline for it and he's almost got his level six, uh, sorry, 18 as well. Bounty. Uh, I don't see the way back here for, well, I don't see the way back here for TNC and neither does Dota Plus. Tim's trying to make 100%. some hundred kind percent. Of yeah, trying to make a play onto Raging Potato here. Ooh, he just wants that bounty. He's got the Halberd. Uh, Alright, dodging the stuns for now. Halberd comes out. AP coming over. There's the Blink Spear. And the entire, Spears him in his face. The entire TNC team just going to put him down. Well, other than March. He's, he's waddling over at the moment. Does that move the needle? It does. We're back. 1%. They got it. I mean, they have to make a play now, right? They have to. There's, there's no other chance that you're going to get. They don't have ages. Yeah. You've got Chaotic Offering. Exorcism in five. Neon yeah. smoked up. KP jumps straight into the middle of them, but he gets silenced. Here comes the Chaotic Offering onto two. Scam also being silenced. He's got the BKB. Gabby the target. Scam just going for it. The Yule's going to buy him another couple of seconds. The support has died. Tim's just getting to work down. Yopage low. Still has the Heavens Halberd. Not dead yet. Another slight in a second. That's going to keep him alive for a little bit longer. He's got bottle sips. Can they actually kill this man? It doesn't seem like they can. March, is he going to get this kill from beyond the grave? He's trying to vessel himself. <laughs> if only he had the final point in the shadow word, Danog. <laughs> yeah, that was the difference. <laughs> Man. Well, nah, well, Scam survived this time, so he—it's it, his job to siege. He can do the work. It's looking dire. Yeah, the the TA is just not getting to do any damage, and the Death Prophet doesn't have any defensive supports, so it's like one Yules, and then you just die after that. And uh, yeah, 22k is a lead. Neon. They're not done just yet, but definitely a nice way to start their night with a 2-0 here and start looking Unless. forward to their series against Boom. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. And even now, with the game essentially sewn up for them, they've got the uh, the wherewithal to back off and just make sure they get these uh, neutral items. Like, what, what are TNC going to do? Leave their base? Uh -huh. It's crazy to think that this is only 27 minutes in. Like what? The, it's it's 37 to 18. This this game has been an absolute bloodbath. The Ember has just been running at heroes this this entire time. Uh, but yeah, that's what you can do as an Ember, right? Like really, yep. the only cooldown dependent hero they have is this DK. Raging Potato really wants his uh, Agonim Scepter, oh, I think. Destruction. Nice, nice.
nearly hitting his level 20 as well on our DK, so looking scarier and scarier as time goes on. Oh, trying to wait for this exorcism, it's got 10 second cooldown. Here, can they kill him? He's got the BKB, he's getting not in too much danger, didn't press the BKB. Okay, finally gets it off at the last moment, pops everything and now just goes to work. Armel and Gabby both getting focused. Armel trying to slink back with the BKB. Yopaj not making it easy for him. He gets out one last chains before he gets speared. That is a double kill for him. Skem's gonna make it a triple. And TNC have had enough. Two disconnects already after the GG is called. And the Neon taking this 43 to 18. Very solid play coming out in, in a 28k net worth lead at 29 minutes into the game. It just shows the dominance coming through from Neon, extending their uh, impressive showing. I mean, wh what does that leave them now? Th uh, 11 and 3, which puts them up in, I want to say, third place. So, yep, looking pretty solid here. Yeah, wow, that's they're, they're doing really well. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, so with that, they just overtake. Fnatic, uh, and they, I guess they're what, they're now tied in terms of game score with Adroit, uh, but with the better loss record, so they might even technically be second, but sure. uh, we'll see. They could even end up first by the end of tonight. Uh, we'll just they have could. to see uh, what Boom can do. TNC just not not really looking all that great. Uh, yeah. Both games. A little bit... Uh... I don't want to say questionable. It just felt like Neon were really on today. And that can be the thing, right? Like 10% mm -hmm. difference in your normal gameplay at this level is uh, is going to be good enough. And, you know, what a great story for Neon as well. I think initially they weren't even in this tournament, right? And then uh, they only got in because LGD International uh, had to withdraw for unknown right. reasons. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But uh, doing the best with their showing and uh, making it count. Yeah, and Yopai's popping off both games i'm i'm looking forward to watching some more yopage in the uh, in our last series tonight play hard too he was yeah. uh, really impressing me that time yeah for sure the the tusk was great and then the rubik i mean what was his damage dealt at the end of this game actually worth looking at 15.6k pretty solid pretty, pretty good yeah i mean the the troll warlord did 22 uh, he out damaged the Dragon Knight, but I think that was to be expected. Raging Potato not really going for a, a big DPS build on his yeah. DK with the the Blink Blade Mail, but goes and to it show. And what even? Sorry, go ahead. No, no. It goes to show you what like the right play and the right atomization can do against a Templar Assassin, right? They just they shut down Armel's game so hard. Mm. And it wasn't even just like the damage from Playhard, right? Like, sure, he stole an Exorcism, but he stole Mars Ultimate, he stole Pangolier Ultimate, he stole Silence. Like, there was just yep. so many great uh, quick steals that came out from him. And well, they uh, they pumped some of these levels into him, but with good reason. Uh, Playhard doing work, and uh, well, hopefully we get a bit more of an even series coming through with uh, Neon coming up against Boom Esports very very shortly. Catch you back here in a couple of minutes, guys.